Yermiyahu 46. The word of Yahuwah, which came to Yermiyahu the prophet concerning the nations of Mithraim, concerning the army of Paraon Nekor, king of Mithraim, which was by the river Purat in Karakamish, which Nabukuduriuthur, king of Bavel, smote in the fourth year of Yehoiakim, the son of Yoshiyahu, king of Yehuda. Prepare ye the buckler and the shield. Draw near to battle. Harness the horses and get up, ye horsemen, and stand forth with your helmets. Furbish the spears. Put on the coats of mail. Wherefore have I seen it? They are dismayed and are turned backward, and their mighty ones are beaten down and are fled apace and look not back. Terror is on every side, saith Yahweh. Let not the swift flee away, nor the mighty man escape. In the north by the river Purat have they stumbled and fallen. Who is this that like the Nile riseth, that like the streams his waters toss to and fro? Mithraim, like the Nile riseth, and like the streams, waters toss to and fro. And he saith, I will rise up. I will cover the earth. I will destroy cities and the inhabitants thereof. Go up, ye horses, and rage, ye chariots, and let the mighty men go forth, Kush and Put, that handle the sword, and the Ludim that handle and bend the bow. For that day is a day of the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, a day of vengeance, that he may avenge him of his adversaries, and the sword shall devour and be satiate, and his drink and shall drink its fill of their blood. For the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, hath a sacrifice in the north country by the river Purat, Go up into Gilead and take balm, O virgin daughter of Mithraim. In vain dost thou use many medicines. There is no healing for thee. The nations have heard of thy shame, and the earth is full of thy cry. For the mighty man hath stumbled against the mighty. They are fallen, both of them together. The word that Yahweh spoke to Yirmiyahu the prophet, how that Nabukuduriuthur, king of Babel, should come and smite the land of Mithraim. Declare ye in Mithraim, and publish in Migdol, and publish in Memphis, and in Tahpanhes. Say ye, stand forth and prepare thee, for the sword hath devoured round about thee. Why are thy strong ones swept away? They stood not, because Yahweh did drive them. He made many to stumble. Yea, they fell one upon another, and they said, Arise, and let us go again to our people, and to the land of our nativity, from the oppressing sword. They cried there, Paro, king of Mithraim, is but a noise. He hath let the appointed time pass by. As I live, saith Yahweh, whose name is Yahweh of hosts, surely like Tabor among the mountains, and like Carmel by the sea, so shall he come. Vessels of captivity effectuate for thee, O dweller, daughter of Mithraim, for Memphis shall become a desolation, and shall be burnt up without inhabitant. Mithraim is a very fair heifer, but destruction out of the north is come. It is come. Also her hired men in the midst of her are like calves of the stall, for they also are turned back. They are fled away together. They did not stand, for the day of their calamity is come, up, come upon them, the time of their visitation. The sound thereof shall go like the serpent, 
For they shall march with an army, and come against her with axes as hewers of wood. They shall cut down her forest, saith Yahweh, though it cannot be searched, because they are more than the locusts, and are innumerable. The daughter of Mithraim shall be put to shame. She shall be delivered into the hand of the people of the north. Yahweh of hosts, the God of Yisrael, saith, Behold, I will punish Amon of Nor, and Paro, and Mithraim, with her gods and her kings, even Paro, and them that trust in him. And I will deliver them into the hand of those that seek their soul, and into the hand of Nabu-Kudur-Riuthur, king of Bavel, and into the hand of his servants, and afterward it shall be inhabited, as in the days of old, saith Yahweh. But fear not thou, O Jacob, my servant, neither be dismayed, O Yisrael, for lo, I will save thee from afar, and thy seed from the land of their captivity, and Jacob shall return, and shall be quiet and at ease, and none shall make him afraid. Fear not thou, O Jacob, my servant, saith Yahweh, for I am with thee, and I will make a full for I will make a full end of all the nations whither I have driven thee, but I will not make a full end of thee, but I will correct thee in measure, and will certainly not leave thee unpunished.